Hey guys, it's me, Carrie. Um, it is kind of rainy and a little bit drippy here today in New York, but that didn't stop me from taking a nice long walk to um, a store called Flying Tiger that I know some of you, especially international, probably are familiar with. Um, I don't know how many there are here in the U.S., but it's a really, really fun store. Okay, if you can relate at all to my era and growing up on the facts of life, if you remember the store that Mrs. Garrett ultimately opened called Over Our Heads that had all of the craziest stuff that you didn't need but totally wanted, that's what this store reminds me of. And everything is really very affordable and I love shopping there. And I had $4, actually no, I had $3.70 left on my Christmas, believe it or not, Christmas gift card from my mom. So I polished that off today. I actually spent $4.35 total, so only 65 cents out of my pocket. And um, I did say 370, right? Okay, yeah, I had 370 left. But anyway, I got three adorable, adorable items. I'm so super excited about. So first up was this incredible little pencil case. It says tomato ketchup, homemade in Mama's Kitchen, premium tomatoes, 500 milliliters, and then the little fine print around the edge here. It actually says, "I say tomato, you say tomato. Either way, this is the best you have ever tasted." How cute is that? Okay, and check this out. The lid opens and it's a pencil sharpener and then on the back it looks like this you can pause to read it but i will read it to you anyway it says ingredients mama's sweet tomatoes love and happiness pencils erasers rulers pens pencil sharpener and whatever you would like to add for a perfect ketchup and it is the cutest freaking thing it opens on top with this zipper so you've got a lot of room in there for all your pencils and pens and accoutrements but I needed a pencil case like a hole in my head, but for $2, I mean, seriously, how could I leave this? Plus, it was the last one on the shelf. And Tiger is one of those stores where if you see it, you ought to buy it right away because they may not get it back in stock. It kind of works like the Dollar Tree in that way. So I'm obsessed with it. I love it, love it, love it. Then the next thing I bought was another one of these pens. You will see these in my previous Flying Tiger hauls. Um... I, I call it Flying Tiger or Tiger back and forth interchangeably because from what I've heard, most people that are like familiar with this store that's been around for quite a while um, call it Tiger for short, but I'm talking about the same place, obviously. But I have three others of these. These are lollipops, but they're pens, you guys. The cap comes off the bottom and they write in black and they write really smoothly and nicely. And I actually keep the plastic and the little bows on them because I just think they look even cuter that way. But the guy who sold it to me said, actually, somebody came in and was all excited, like, oh my gosh, a lollipop. And they peeled it open before he could stop him and stuck it in his mouth and was like, oh, wait, that's not a lollipop. But anyway, um, I bought all the pastel versions. I think I have pink and blue pink and purple and pink and green, if I'm not mistaken. And I was like hesitant on this one because it looked so holiday-ish. But then I said, you know what? Shit, Carrie, for a dollar, how could you not own this and have all the colors? So I'm pretty sure I have all of them now. And then lastly, I found the cutest, I, I'm literally the cutest, most affordable scissors in the whole wide world. And it's perfect because I should have small scissors with me when I'm cutting open things, when I do unboxings and stuff. First of all, can we appreciate the adorableness of this tissue paper. Oh my God, I'm so saving this tissue to rewrap somebody else's gift in. How precious is this? And the fact that the guy took the time to wrap a $1 pair of scissors, I mean, that's just the extra mile they go. And I love Tiger so much. How cute are these scissors? They're little flowers. And at first I thought they were kid scissors. They just say scissors, but I actually tested them on a piece of paper and they cut great. They're nice and sharp. There's, you know, plenty of room for my fat fingers. Well, I don't really have fat fingers, but I have grown-up fingers. I don't have little kid fingers. Plenty of room to fit my fingers, and they're super comfortable. I would think that these would also be very... They are. I, I mean, if you're left-handed, a lot of times scissors are awkward because, like, one side is bigger than the other. I know my mom and my brother and my father were all left-handed. My mom is still alive. My brother and my dad are gone. But I'm the only one in my family that's a righty, which is super weird because left-handed is, like being left-handed is the less common trait so it's weird that all three of my other family members were left-handed and are left-handed and I'm a righty but um these would be equally comfortable I would think for someone left-handed too and they've got this little tiger logo with the little eyes on it I hope you can see but a dollar you guys so I'm actually going to use these in my next video that I'm going to shoot to cut open a box but I mean seriously for four dollars and 35 cents this amazing pencil case an adorable pen and scissors and I bet you the scissors will actually fit inside the case. I may not keep them in here. 
because I don't want to cut through. Oh God, they fit perfect. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so that was a super, super, super deal. Then the next place I went was Target. I've been checking Target like every couple days since Easter to see if they, um, if more lip balms turn up because sometimes they do. Like you'll see them, like you'll go one day and there won't be any and then you'll go another day and suddenly there there'll be because somebody like unburied them from in a corner where somebody shoved them or something. Not that I ever hide things to wait when they go on clearance and buy them. I mean, cause that would be really unfair, but you know. Yeah, I do that. But anyway, usually the Target people catch me and they put it back on the shelf. But um, in some instances, it actually works. But I digress. But anyway, so um, I went to look to see if they had any lip balms that I didn't have yet. And if um, the stuff I had already purchased had gone on additional clearance. Because I think Target is now at 70% off on non-food items. And then the Easter food is 50. That's usually how they run it there. Whereas Walmart just does a flat discount on anything holiday. Walmart is now at 50, no, Walmart is now at 75% off on all Easter items, be it food or non-food. But anyway, so I was stunned, okay? Because the other night I went to my friend Kathy's house and I decided to check her Target. I don't usually get there because it's like 20, 25 minute drive. I go occasionally, generally just if I'm going to Kathy's. But um, I decided to take a look there and for some reason in with the Easter tchotchkes, they had the um the marvel lip smackers the ones that look like this and i'm going why would these be with easter they have nothing to do with easter but i'm just gonna scan them to see if they've gone on clearance and lo and behold you guys they did okay these were originally shoot i don't have my receipt on me i'm almost positive they were originally five dollars a piece you guys i got this last captain america and the last hulk for a dollar 50 each. Can you even? I'm so stoked because my dear friend Jeannie gifted me Black Widow and the other night at Kathy's I found the one and only other one. They had a ton of Black Widow left which I'm guessing maybe these are, these particular shaped ones are appealing more to boys than girls because there were a ton of Black Widow but none of anything else except for one Spidey. So I scored the one Spidey for $1.50 and now each of these for $1.50. So I am so incredibly excited to finally have this collection complete. So that was my amazing Target score. And of course, I brought my own bag. So I got my five cent discount, which if you're not aware of that, guys, if you bring recyclable bags, you get five cents off. And if you end up having to use more than one, they will take a nickel off for each recyclable bag you use. Obviously, you can't bring a stack of five and say, bag one item in each bag. But I mean, if you're buying groceries or if you're stocking up on a lot of stuff, bring multiple bags, why not? You know, a nickel's a nickel. Okay, and the last thing I did was, um, no, actually, before I left Target, I stopped at their Starbucks and I got myself my... I think new favorite Starbucks drink, which is the cinnamon almond milk macchiato iced. Um, it's really good hot too, but the guy at this particular um, Starbucks is like such a nice barista. I went there the other day um, when I was doing Easter, you know, searching, and it was the same barista, and he made me my pink drink, which was the first time and only time so far that I've had that. That's really tasty too. But um, he made this so well. I always end up having to put a little bit of extra cinnamon in just because I want that extra kick. And I stirred it up really well and I tasted it. It was perfect. So I like legit went over to him afterwards and I was like, dude, this is the only cinnamon almond milk macchiato I've not had to add cinnamon to. You are the man. I gave him a big thumbs up and he smiled and laughed and thought that was cool. So I made somebody feel happy. But um, anyway, I had to get that. And then last but not least, I stopped at Walmart and I found several things there, most of which I cannot show you because they're surprises for my Crazy Eights. And my Crazy Eights is actually Magnificent Seven Plus Me. It is seven of my dearest, bestest friends. Um, a week from today, today's Friday, a week from today, we're getting together at our friend Kathy's house and we're having a slumber party, which is so much fun. I've always wanted to have slumber parties with friends as an adult. And um, it wasn't until I met Kathy that we started doing that. We've done it two or three times now, and some of the friends just come and hang out for a few hours. Um, usually it's just my friend Jen and I, actually both times so far, or three times so far, it's just been Jen and I that have actually spent the night. But um, it's Jen and Jackie and Kathy and Pat and Diana and Stephanie and our one friend Tony, the token boy, <laughs> who, um, who hangs out with us. He's never come to a sleep overnight. I don't Thing. He's, he certainly hasn't spent the night, but, um, but Kathy has extra rooms and couches and tons of space. So I'm hoping that more people will sleep over tonight, uh, tonight, next Friday. I'm thinking Jackie will, uh, for the first time. So I'm excited about that. Okay. I'm gonna have to pause for a minute because my nose is running. Hold on a sec, guys.
Okay, sorry about that. Um, but anyway, so um, we, we have all different incarnations. When we first met, it was um, five of us that became really tight right away. It was myself, Jackie, Jen, Kathy, and Pat, so we called ourselves the Fab Five. Then in time, Stephanie and Diana kind of joined our little clique, so we dubbed ourselves the Magnificent Seven. And then when Tony came along, we needed a new name, so I came up with the Crazy Eights. So anyway, it will be the eight of us all together, but I picked up um, tiny little tchotchkes for myself and the other seven. So they are going to be getting them next Friday. So obviously I can't show them on camera because they're surprises. If you guys are watching, probably Jackie would be the only one that might be because I don't think the others watch my videos. But Jackie hopefully is. It's it's little and silly and just cute and fun. So anyway, so I got um, those from my friends. But then I also got this adorable tin bucket. I have no idea where I'm gonna put it in my house. I have so much stuff, but um, I thought this would be super, super cute for storing Revos or possibly an alternate place to put my Tsum Tsum lip smackers or even my actual Tsum Tsum figurines, just throw them in the bucket and then rotate out like the ones I display because I have way too many at this point to find room for. I need to figure out a shelving situation for them. I just don't really have a good place. So right now I have some that are on my desk that are super, super faves, just big ones for the most part, or blind bag ones that come with accessories. But um, even I can't even fit all my large ones. I have you know just not enough room. So if I throw them in here and I rotate them out, I thought that would be really cute. And you'd still see like the little faces on top. And it's just good for storage. This was originally $4.88, guys. But like I said, 75% off at Walmart now. So it's only $1.22, which was a super score, I think. Then I got this. This was not on sale, but this is a staple for us now. Um, my husband and I, uh, he used to like the, um, the Dollar Tree creamer. And in a pinch, he'll still drink it. But he really, really, really likes this Great Value French Vanilla. It's a really good deal. You get 15 ounces, so almost a pound. And I want to say it's $2.28. It's just really good flavored. It lasts us quite a while, so I picked that up for him. So that was the one, like, non-sale thing. And then, oh my gosh, Mary, if you're watching this, I finally found the Wonder Woman bucket. Oh, why did I go out of sync? I'm going to have to do this in another part, guys. Sorry to cut off, but I will be right back.